One of the tech world's most influential voices says progress should not be measured by one new phone after another. Peter Thiel co-founded PayPal back in 1998. The team around him went on to create groundbreaking startups. You've heard of them all, like YouTube, Yelp, Kiba, LinkedIn, and Tesla. Seven of those companies are valued at more than a billion dollars each. Thiel is now a venture capitalist. He's written the new book, Zero to One, Notes on Startups or How to Build the Future. Welcome, Peter. Good to have you here. Charlie, thanks for having me on the show. Let me, let me first talk about what... Um, Tim was just talking about. Is Apple Pay the kind of new innovative, innovative idea that you applaud? Uh, well, Apple needs to do all sorts of new things. Tim has, I think, the hardest job in the United States to fill Steve Jobs' shoes. Mm -hmm. And he's doing a really good job. Uh, he's, uh, uh, the, Apple has continued to build new products. It's perhaps not as big a breakthrough as the iPhone or the original home computer, but uh, Apple needs to keep doing things. And it's, it's hard. They, they're making $150 billion a year from their from their phones and so you have to come up with big new products to, to really move the dial. Mm -hmm. And that's what you say in your book, Zero to One, if I could mention the title again. Every moment in business you say only happens once. Companies have to make something new or they will fail regardless of the profits. That yeah. surprised me. Yeah, so you, you, will, you won't succeed by, you know, the next um, Bill Gates won't start an operating system, the next Larry Page won't start a search engine, the next Mark Zuckerberg won't start a social yeah. network. And they've so been done. They've yes. been done. So if, you are, if you're copying these people, in some sense you're not learning from them. You say this book is about how to build companies that create new things. How do you do that? Uh, well, you, you, you uh, ask yourself some tough questions and you try to figure out what is the right constellation of things that can be done this time. When we started PayPal, um, there was email and there was money and we figured out a way to combine the two. And it was in 1998, 99, that was the right thing to combine. It hadn't been done and it was the right moment to do that. And, and I, uh, the interview question I always like asking people yeah. <clears throat> is tell me something that's true that very few people agree with you on. And if you Give can Give me answer, some examples of what they say. Mm -hmm. Well, they give bad answers, like, uh, you know. It's our, a hard question. It's like, it's a hard question. the education system is broken. Or, Religion. Or God exists, or yeah. God doesn't yeah. exist. And, but these are all, uh, these are all sort of conventional answers. Uh, good answers are ones that are very uncomfortable, and they take you out of your comfort zone. Uh, and, and they show they, you're willing to go against the grain. You're willing to go against the grain, but it has to also be something that's true. So building a, opening a British restaurant in downtown Palo Alto, uh, is unconventional, but probably not a good idea. I, I, this might help. I was struck. You said the single most powerful pattern that I've noticed is that successful people find value in unexpected places. Yeah. It's always in places people are not looking. If you're looking where everyone else is looking, uh, you're going to have tons of competition and it's going to be very hard to differentiate. You don't want to be the fourth online pet food company. Uh, you want to be uh, the first uh, of, a, of a kind. But you I like what, go ahead. You live in Silicon Valley uh, where <clears throat> ideas are, grow seemingly you know, out of the grass, but there is this. <laughs> Walmart, one of the biggest companies in the world, came out of, of Arkansas. It was not a dramatically new idea. It was just a good idea well executed. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, uh, there definitely are all sorts of different ways you can do it. You can, you can execute on great ideas. I, I'd say Walmart figured out a way to scale things, uh, to uh, manage the inventory much better than anyone else had done. And so often uh, the breakthrough is, uh, is in a somewhat hidden way. With Walmart, it would have been inventory management right. in ways that people had not done before. But I like what you said about PayPal, Peter, because you said when you started it, you were afraid. That surprised me. But you said of the six people who bit, built PayPal, Four of you had built bombs in high school. You said it's important for the founder to be led by a distinctive individual, which can be powerful yet dangerous. What did you mean by that? Well, uh, you the CEO often, matters. You, said. you often have these really extreme personalities yeah. uh, uh, starting these companies, and you have to maybe be a little bit out of your mind to to actually uh, start start a business. Uh, the people are charismatic. You have to motivate people. You have to inspire them and then uh, you have to make sure you don't blow the business up. You You're say always hire full-time, no consultants, no part-time, no working from home, and the CEO should pay himself less than he pays other people. Uh, well, Gail, it's all in. When you're, when you're starting one of these things, uh, it's, it's a team. Everyone has to be fully on board, and the CEO needs to set a good example. If the CEO pays himself way too much, that's already a bad example for everyone else. Peter, you, you and I have known each other for a long time. You also think about America and where we are. What worries you most about this country now? Well, it, uh, it, we have, we're seeing an enormous uh, 
innovation in technology in the world of bits and computers, internet, mobile internet, things like that. I think we need to be innovating a lot more in other areas too. So I think we need to be innovating in energy, in transportation, in um, figuring out ways to build cheaper and more affordable housing. Mm -hmm. uh, and so in the world of atoms as well as, as, as bits. Uh, and, uh, and I think that's, the, that's, that's what I find uh, mm -hmm. the big question. Are we gonna, are we going to continue to progress as a, as a society, or are we in a period of relative stagnation? I was not mm. expecting you to wear a hoodie, but you, the, the, <laughs> word, the thing about like you Mark is Zuckerberg, that, yeah. No, but he, not, yeah. I'm not even. I'm not knocking yeah. Mark. I, I just yeah. wasn't expecting you to wear it. But they say the word about you is that you're suspicious of CEOs in suits, and you write about nerds versus salesmen. What, what's your thing about people in well, suits? Well, there are, no, there are no hard and fast sartorial rules. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, it always depends on the context. If you're selling a book on CBS, uh, do you want to wear a suit and tie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if, you're, um, <laughs> if you're pitching a startup in Silicon Valley and you're wearing a suit and tie, it, it looks fit. like you're bad at sales and, and worse at tech. Okay. Yeah. We're Peter Thiel. It's a great book. I know it's based yes. on your lectures at Stanford. It's a, it's a really nice read. Thank you so much.